Hi everyone, welcome back. In this lecture, we'll understand how circuit breaker pattern works. Well, circuit breaker pattern maintains three states. One is open, closed and half open. For example, let me quickly draw the diagram over here. Circuit breaker pattern maintains three state. First is closed and then second is open and then third is half open okay well in closed state circuit breaker will allow to flow all the requests from one microservice to another microservice for example consider we have two microservices employee service and department service and employee service is calling a department service and consider we are implementing circuit breaker pattern in employee service well if circuit breaker is in closed state then the request flows from employee service to department service it means both the employee service and department service applications are up and running and employee service can able to make a stp call to the department service okay so in this condition the you know circuit breaker state is in closed state closed state meaning circuit breaker will allow the request to flow from employee service to department service next open state well in case of open state here we basically maintain the threshold threshold let's say 50 percent well whenever employee service is calling department service and due to some reason a department service is down and employee service is making you know calls to the department service let's say employee service made a five calls to department service and among five calls two calls two calls are success and three calls are failed and we have set the threshold 50 percent it means if the failure rate is exceed the threshold then the circuit breaker will move into open state okay so basically it will fail whenever it reaches the threshold all right next here in open state we can you know set the time limit for example let's say five seconds well circuit breaker will remains five seconds in a open state and after that it will automatically move into half open state okay so circuit breaker will remain five seconds in open state and after that it will automatically move into half open state and in a half open state circuit breaker will allow limited number of calls for example let's say three calls okay so employee service can make only three calls to department service whenever circuit breaker is in half open state and after that circuit breaker will move into either closed state or open state okay let's say employee service made three calls to department service and after that employee service got a success response from the department service then circuit breaker will move from half open state to closed state and consider if employee service is making three calls to department service and after that also employee service is not getting a response from department service then the circuit breaker state will again move to the open state because this is a failure okay after three calls employee service is not getting a response from department service okay that's why circuit breaker state will again move into open state okay again circuit breaker will stay five seconds in open state and it will automatically move into half open state and in a half open state circuit breaker will allow three calls okay and after three calls if employee service will get a success response from department service then circuit breaker state will move from half open to closed state and if employee service is not getting a response from department service after three calls then again circuit breaker state will move from half open to you know open state so this is how basically the flow goes all right so circuit breaker pattern will basically help to reduce the number of calls from employee service to department service whenever department service goes down this will also avoid wasting the number of resources well let me recap how circuit breaker pattern works circuit breaker maintains three states closed open half open and in case of closed state circuit breaker will allow to flow the request from one microservice to another microservice next circuit breaker will move into open state 
whenever a failure rate exceeds the threshold and in an open state we can set the time limit and circuit breaker will remain in an open state up to that time limit after that it will automatically move into half open state and in a half open state circuit breaker will allow limited number of calls and after you know limited number of calls it will decide to move into closed state or open state based on the response like if employee service is getting you know response from department service after three limited calls then circuit breaker will move into closed state or else it will again move into open state so this is how basically circuit breaker pattern works okay great in next lecture onwards we will start implementing circuit breaker pattern okay great i will see you in the next lecture